Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya. Same awesome Naya, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So today, we'll be talking something really very important, and it's about Rosanna Barr, who actually came out to say that, uh, I mean, the youth shouldn't go to a college, that it is a waste of time and uh, like a blood-sucking baby drinking, whatever that she actually said, you know. And uh, looking at uh, a pop colored woman coming out to say that a youth shouldn't go to college, like, you know, and she was like, if you need help, call me or email me, and she is going to direct you on the path, path to follow, right? The person that is going to direct somebody, I mean, she probably became a life coach and we are not aware of it. But looking at her, it looks like she is the one that needs a life coach because if she is okay coming on camera to tell young youth to not go to college. Number one is that I want to say this, uh, that uh, we are not losing track. I mean, you, we all know the purpose, like we want to get to every corner and uh, all we want to see is uh, black people, like at every point in time, I mean, any side you get into, any field, we are seeing black people, we are seeing black doctors, black nurses, uh, black lecturers, black uh, black writers, engineers, we are seeing everything, politics too. So we are not exempting, we are going into everything. You know what, let's get into this. I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Shout out to all of you that hit up my cash app, that hit up my Venmo. I so appreciate you. Y'all had me in tears. Coupled with the depression. Yeah, I was in tears. Um, I'm slowly making my way back. And um, this is what I came back to. If I had to see it, you've got to see it. You ever hear that term, Trump derangement syndrome? Yeah, the MAGA nuts try to label those of us who will come out and speak out against Donald Trump and all of his lies, his misogyny, his racism. Yeah, they like to say that we suffer from Trump derangement syndrome when no, it's just yet another projection in my opinion. That right there, Roseanne Barr, she is a perfect example of Trump derangement syndrome. Mm -hmm. She was so for Donald Trump that she let her racism, she, she put it out on full display going after Valerie Jarrett. Remember that? And she lost her show. And ever since, she's gone downhill with her mental intelligence. This is where she is now. Trump derangement syndrome. Another example would be Mike Lindell. Multi-millionaire. Thriving business. He hitched his wagon to Donald Trump. And where is he now? Fighting lawsuits. I just saw an article the other day where he is behind in rent. $200,000. He is broke, broke. He's not our broke, but he's no longer a multimillionaire. Trump derangement syndrome. All of these attorneys who have hitched their wagons to Donald Trump for that almighty grift, where are they now? 
Rudy Giuliani, Jenna Ellis, Sidney Powell, they're all disgraced being held accountable legally in some way, shape, or form. Rudy Giuliani has a judgment that he owes two black women a hundred and forty eight million dollars. They hitched their wagons to Donald Trump and lost everything. Jenna Ellis is now a convicted criminal. Sidney Powell, a convicted criminal. That is Trump derangement syndrome. When you, before you hitched your wagon to Donald Trump, had a successful career. And after hitching your wagon to Donald Trump, you are lower than the lowest person out there. You suffered from Trump derangement syndrome. It is not us. We're all moving along just fine. It is them. It is them. So you all remember when Roseanne Barr made a racist tweet basically calling Valerie Garrett, the former senior advisor to President Obama, a gorilla, and then she blamed it on Ambien? Well, I would like for you all to take a look at this next video, and let's take bets. What is she going to blame this on? Let me get this right. She's at a fundraiser for, for Carrie Lake. Is anybody going to tell her? Is anybody going to tell her? She's at a fundraiser for Carrie Lake and she's a MAGA supporter at mar a -Lagro. Are we going to tell her or are we just going to wait for the ambient excuse? I'm asking for a friend. Oh, and um, just in case anybody wanted to reach out to her and find out what her plan was, uh, please, please, all 800,000 of you all, why don't you all hit her up and let me know how that turns out. Let's get it. Hey, old girl. How are you doing? I'm here at uh, Mar-a-Lago supporting Carrie Lake, and it was a fantastic evening, and our Trump is here being the DJ and I've just danced and everyone's amazed. So I'm just going to say to you, please drop out of college because it's going to ruin your lives. Do me a favor, drop out. They don't teach you nothing good. Uh, email me or Twitter me or whatever you call me and I'll help you with your life, but you've got to get out of college because it isn't nothing but devil worshiping, baby blood drinking, Democrat donors. Love ya. I had no idea they were doing the live action version of the Emperor's New Groove. Kept expecting her to say, Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! And I guess she's also decided to embark on a new career as a life coach. That would not be my first choice. What are the pearls of wisdom would she be offering besides dropping out of college? I always feel it's a good idea to share my feelings about my boss on social media, especially if they're African-American, and only after I've taken fistfuls of Ambien. Thanks for the career advice, Roseanne. I'm sure that'll jettison me up the corporate ladder. You know, if I were to walk into a room with Donald Trump, Carrie Lake, and Roseanne Barr, and they were all standing around talking about MAGA stuff, like how... Democrats are all fascist communists because they don't know the difference. And the Democrats also like to drink baby's blood and worship the devil. I like to think I would pause for a minute and go, hmm, maybe I should change the way I vote because clearly 
I'm staring into a bottomless miasma of madness. But no, not Trump supporters. They see him and they're all thinking, well, I believe he is a man of God and speaking for me. Make America great again. Yeah, all the South will rise again. Now, I thank the Lord above I'm not one of them stupid pronoun using libtards. Now I'm going to go scurry off and buy myself a Trump bobble, some Trump shoes, and some Trump digital trading cards because I'm definitely not in the cult. Well, anyway, <clears throat> well, anyway, this has been Doc for Diesel Punk Industries. Thanks for watching, and as always, Crunchy White Pimp forever. So you know how the Republican response to Taylor Swift and other major celebrities supporting Democrats has been to trot out Ted Nugent, Roseanne Barr, John Voight, all of these incredibly irrelevant celebrities that young voters have never heard of. Well, at a recent fundraiser for Carrie Lake, Roseanne Barr began to give her advice and start her outreach to young voters, telling college students to drop out because all college is is devil worship and baby blood drinking, and instead to email her for help. Watch. Hey, old bro. How are you doing? I'm here at uh, Mar-a-Lago supporting Carrie Lake, and it was a fantastic evening, and our Trump is here being the DJ, and I've just danced, and everyone's amazed. So I'm just going to say to you, please drop out of college because it's going to ruin your lives. Do me a favor, drop out. They don't teach you nothing good. Uh, email me or Twitter me or whatever you call me, and I'll help you with your life, but you've got to get out of college because it isn't nothing but devil worshiping baby blood drinking democrat donors love ya love ya if you heard her go ahead and twitter her <laughs> because your education isn't nothing uh and, and if you go to college you're just a satan worshiping baby blood drinking demon <laughs> <laughs> what is the actual fuck are you talking about? Because Roseanne Barr was at Mar-a-Lago last night for a Carrie Lake fundraiser and she told kids to drop out of college. Just watch the fucking clip and we'll discuss. First I'll let you listen and then I'll do the commentary. Hey, old girl. How are you doing? I'm here at uh, Mar-a-Lago supporting Carrie Lake and it was a fantastic evening and Drop out. Down to anything. Email me. Blood drinking. Woo! Love ya. Jesus Christ. How much wine did you have? Ayahuasca is a fuck of a drug. Carrie Lake will lose over and over and over again but go ahead and raise money for her at mar-a-lago where trump is the dj let me guess proud to be an american just on a fucking loop <laughs> seriously what is in that fucking wine anything they're not gonna teach you anything not nothing i just i guess i'm curious what the email address is Roseanne Barr drinks fucking wine all day at yahoo.com. Rosie for MAGA in the deep state at gmail.com. 
Roseanne Barr, professor at Trump University at AOL.com. Seriously, John Goodman's like, the fuck? Tom Arnold's like, woo! <laughs> Don't worry. All of us Democrats drinking blood and devil worshiping is it's great for Gen Z. <laughs> oh my goodness. The last person took me out. Really, she is very hilarious. But wait. What is that woman high on? Because that cannot be her speaking. Oh, you already saw she. She was holding a, a glass of something. So I don't know how many glasses she already had before. Before, before the devil hits. Because it's like something struck her. And then she told somebody, please get the camera. I need to say something. I have something for the youth. I have something for the Gen Z. <laughs> I am. I am so sorry. She said she's a, yeah, she's a life coach. And she needs to put her life together first. <laughs> when she's done putting her life together, then we'll know who needs help. If she's the one that needs help, or <laughs> the youth are the one that needs help. But well, this is really very funny, you know. But then it is not funny. Now, what uh, this can, it's a uh, can imagine uh, a full grown woman coming out to tell us that our college is uh, uh, it's not important. You all already know that uh, we black people have already agreed on uh, say no more. To, I am not saying that if it's sport that you want to do at all, that if it is your calling or you want to be rap, rap, I don't know, but we want to go into news. But I think, uh, I mean, we are kind of moving away from that uh, because, like, you know, sports and all of that. I mean, we want to be doctors, we want to be nurses, we want to be pilots, we want to be engineers, we want to be nurses, we want to be, I mean, we want to have good, we want to be in politics too, not just being doctors, being nurses. We also want to be in politics, right? So the earn is to be there everywhere. Like everywhere you look around, you are seeing black people. That is the purpose and we should never lose that purpose. I mean, we should never lose that goal, you know? It's a, uh, if this is not white privilege, tell me what that could be, you know, for somebody to come out to tell you that I, I going to college is not okay, you know, you have to drop out, drop out to get what? Huh? Drop out to do what a like a, for real. Drop out to do what, and uh, let's keep encouraging our younger ones, our children, nephews, nieces, and all of that. Tell them that we have a purpose, like that we we, we have a goal to achieve, and all of that. And I am really very happy that a lot of black people also are doing amazingly, amazing, amazingly great, and well for themselves, picking great careers, and uh, pursuing them, and doing all of that. I just and I do not want us to be limited to something anymore because it's more like when it comes to rap, it's black people. When it comes to music, it's black people. When it comes to sports, NBA, the NBA, these that, and it's black people. We are moving out of that, you know. We want to be the movers and checkers of every corner. Like I want it, like any corner you get into, you are seeing black people, writers publishers, movie directors, we're having great platforms and all of that. So yeah, I ain't nobody discouraging us or I ain't nobody telling us that we have to drop out of school and uh, to uh, go and pursue what or to go and do what. Uh, and uh, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. The last person said, what would be the email to email her? <laughs> I really have no idea what the email will be, but you all can see how drunk she is, and she still wanna want to uh, tell us something. See you all in our, my next video. Bye for now.